Today I'll be proving Fermat's little theorem. And the theorem states that if p is a prime number, and for any integer a, number a to the p minus a is a multiple of p. So before I go into the proof of this theorem, I'll first prove the following lemma. The lemma says, if p is prime, then for any integer k between 1 and p minus 1, number p choose k is divisible by p. Okay. And to prove this lemma, we can write p choose k as p factorial divided by k factorial p minus k factorial. And this can also be written as p times p minus 1 times p minus 2 dot 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 p minus k plus 1 divided by k factorial. We can see that in the numerator of this fraction, we have the number p, which is divisible by p. But in the denominator, we have the product of numbers which are less than p. And this is because one uh, k is between 1 and p minus 1, so all the numbers in the denominator are less than p. Therefore, since p is a prime number, the exponent of p in the prime factorization of the den denominator is zero. So prime, if you do the prime factorization of the denominator, exponent of p is zero. But in the numerator, the exponent will b1. And this is because of the number p here. And all these numbers are less than p, so they don't contribute to the exponent. So it means the overall number, the overall number p choose k, the exponent of p in prime factorization will be 1. And also, by definition of the choose function, we know p choose k is an integer. And using this exponent, things we derived here, we also know the exponent of p is at least 1. This means that p choose k is divisible by p. This proves the lemma. Now we'll use this lemma in an induction proof of Fermat's little theorem. So what we'll do is induct on the values possible for a in modulo p. So the base case of the induction is when a is congruent to 0 mod p. And in this case, a to the p minus a will be congruent to 0 to the p minus 0, which is congruent to 0 mod p. And this means p divides a to the p minus a. So this proves the base case. And the inductive step, assume, let's say, assume b to the p minus b is divisible by by p where b is congruent to let's put i i mod p where the number i is between 0 and p minus 2 
And now we'll prove that b plus 1 to the p minus b plus 1 is divisible by p. Oh, wait, okay, I'll just rewrite it slightly differently. I said, right, if C is, I'm going to prove that if C is congruent to I plus 1 mod P, then C to the P minus C is divisible by P. So now we're going to prove it for I plus 1. Okay, so c to the p minus c is congruent to i plus 1 to the p minus i plus 1 mod p. And now we can do binomial expansion of i plus 1 to the power of p. And this is where the lemma will come in. So we have i to the p and a plus 1 here, but we're also adding the sum of from k equals 1 to p minus 1 of p choose k times i to the k and then we're subtracting i plus 1 and we can remember from the lemma that p divides p choose k for all values of k between 1 and p minus 1 so this whole term is 0 mod p this entire sum so now we have i to the p plus 1 minus i plus 1 mod p. And this is congruent to, so the ones cancel out. This is i to the p minus i mod p. Okay. And remember, when b is congruent to i mod p, you have b to the p, b to the p minus b is always divisible by p, which means i to the p minus i is congruent to 0 mod p. And this is by assumption, by the inductive hypothesis. This means we've proven that p divides c to the p minus c. And the inductive step is complete. So from induction, it follows... So from induction, we get a to the p minus a, which is divisible by, by p. And so it works for all possible values of a mod p from 0, 1, 2, and up to p minus 1. And this is the same as saying this is true for all integers a okay so this completes the proof of Fermat's little theorem using mathematical induction and also this lemma involving p choose k okay so hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i'll see you next time